or whatever you imagine. You need to sit down with yourself and do that. I can't do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. So A, to come with this thing that your imagination or your idea of a utopian life, what that is. B is what is awakening to you. What does that mean? What's enlightenment to you? Do you, and for everybody is different. If somebody is dealing with deep tra tra trauma issues from childhood, so then their idea of enlightenment awakening is that that area is solved and they no longer deal with the trauma. That's how they relate it to. If somebody else is has a deep, deep affiliation and affection to animal rights and saving animals and not having them slaughtered or being tortured or the way they've been treated on this planet. So then their perspective on enlightenment and awakening is going through creating a, a life according to their vision that mankind is kind to the animals. If you're, again, so everybody's got their own thing. I don't know what you have. But I know what I had. Mine was, I wanted to free myself from fear from worry, from anxiety, from jealousy, from my emotional ups and downs. But I didn't know that how deeply I'm identified with my thoughts, how deeply I was identified with my emotions and my body. I didn't know that. And like most spiritual seekers, when I sat with my guru, when I was with Papaji, I was with the master, you, I got high. You enter into the unified field, you start getting connected to the master's energy, the field that the master has created around himself, or it does get created automatically because the master is here and it's established into self-love and presence. And that automatically creates and activates the grid and creates this field around the presence, around this being, that begins to affect anything it's in surrounding. So when you're open to it and you're available to your spiritual teacher and you enter into that field that they've created or it's been created, whichever way we put it, you automatically become calm quiet because and then you start your mind goes into silence and then you start feeling blissed out you begin to get a taste of yourself and you get the bliss however since you're projecting it it's coming from your teacher you think you need to be around your teacher and that's where you get your bliss, which is very normal in the beginning. However, a true teacher, after God you established in this place, first you need to get established in this place and understand it. But then gradually, slowly, your teacher will guide you back inside towards yourself and the method of taking you back towards yourself 
to come to inner bliss is through centering yourself to become centered. The purpose of getting centered is to take your attention from your attachments, your emotional and mental attachments to whatever story that you're involved with inwards towards one-pointedness. It's a shift of your attention on the outer world to bring your attention to the inner world. You're shifting your attention. But it's not possible to trust and love your method and your teacher without your teacher your community, the method has to give you some signs. The proof is in the pudding. So once you start to touch yourself and feel the love and the bliss and your mind starts to quiet down, a relationship starts to happen with that system, whatever that system is, whether it's church, it's religion, whether it's spiritual teacher, it's your therapist, it's your mom, it's the school, it's your whatever that is. Where there's a system that you tap into, whether their intentions are holy, whether Whatever is their story, I don't get into that. That's a different story. But right now, I'm just trying to think, keep things simple. And the point is, for me, I want you to understand something. I'm trying to use different ways of po possible different ways of communicating and relating to you a very simple thing. So how do I get to you so you understand what I'm saying? So I use different methods, different ways, different language on different days to see if I can convey this message to you. If I can go around your intellectual understanding and touch your heart. If I can communicate with you from no mind. Because the mind stands in between us the intellectual mind wants to discuss things. It wants to get into a debate. And I'm not interested in that because I have no interest in a conversation with your mind. I'm only interested in one thing, and that's freedom. So back to what I was talking about is that Entering into this place, entering into this field, this higher level of consciousness, you have to pay a price. It's not free. And the main price is your dedication, is you have to get focused and get dedicated and make it your priority. Buddha, Siddhartha, left, he was a prince, and he had a kingdom to rule, and he left everything. He left his kingdom, he left his wife, he left his kids, 